call Edison another outburst? Astronomers working with the TRAPPIST telescope at ESO's Lossell Observatory report that Com Edison's production of gas and dust surged another sixfold during the early hours of November 19th. This marks the second outburst since November 13th. Experienced observers put the comet's rising magnitude near plus 4.0, well above the threshold of naked eye visibility. The problem is, Edison is approaching the sun and becoming increasingly difficult to observe. Shrin Ahmed of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, photographed the comet's green core framed by twilight blue on the morning of November 19th. The situation is only going to worsen as the comet plunges toward its November 28th close encounter with the sun. Amateur photography of the comet will be possible for a few more days and, soon, only NASA's fleet of solar observatories will be able to track the sun diver. Despite the recent outbursts, which could have been caused by a breakup of Edison's nucleus, astronomers with NASA's Comet Edison Observing Campaign believe that the comet is still intact. It will need to be to survive next week's hellish plunge through the sun's atmosphere. If it does survive a big, if it could emerge as a splendid naked eye object for sky watchers in the northern hemisphere. Observationally speaking, the next big event in the timeline of Calm Edison's journey comes on November 21st, when the comet enters the field of view of NASA's Stereo-A spacecraft. The heliospheric imager on Stereo-A will pick up the comet just as Earth-bound telescopes begin to lose it. In the days that follow, Stereo B, SOHO and the Solar Dynamics Observatory will join the hunt, providing continuous views of Comet Edison all the way to perihelion. Stay tuned.